The GMC Terrain is a bit player in the epic cast that comprises the compact crossover segment. A perennial sales understudy, the GMC had a US sales volume of 87,925 units in 2016, a drop in the bucket compared with top build stars such as the Honda CRV and the Ford Escape, which sold 357,335 and 307,069 tickets in the same year. GMC understands this and is confident that its individuality appeals to buyers who aren't easily swayed by the public opinion of the moment. Still, constant reinvention is the key to putting return customers in the seats, and the 2018 GMC Terrain is new from the foundation on up. Undoubtedly, the Terrain's indie strategy would not be possible without the economy of scale provided by the Chevrolet Equinox, its bigger selling mechanical sibling. For its part, the terrain focuses on premium features, styling, and specific chassis tuning. We're on the record with favorable impressions of the new 2018 Equinox, and that regard carries through to the terrain. Five minutes into our drive of the full boat, 2.0-liter Denali AWD, lingering memories of the first-gen terrain vanished like Adrian's Ms. career. Seating and interior materials are on par with other GMC products functional first but a bit more premium than Chevy stuff, if your definition of premium is slightly thicker and more durable. Some of the terrain's approximately 350 pounds of weight savings over its predecessor were achieved in the seat frames, but you wouldn't know it by sitting in the comfortably firm front buckets. GMC says the multi-density padding helps this cause, although note that those looking for significant side bolsters will be disappointed. Even though the new terrain's wheelbase spans 5.2 inches less than before and it's 3.2 inches shorter overall, rear passengers lose only 0.2 inch in leg room. We couldn't really detect that, but we can confirm that two adults can survive long trips in the bench-like rear seats without the aid of muscle relaxers. It's the cargo room that took a hit from the resizing, with space behind the second row seat shrinking to 30 cubic feet from the previous model's 32. Offsetting that somewhat is that the flat folding front passenger seat now allows carrying materials up to 8 feet long, think dimensional lumber, not sheets, adding versatility the previous model lacked.